All right, so this is a special video. I wanted to discuss a few things. So first and foremost, let's take a look at this image right here. So this was drawn by one of my followers on Twitter. His name is Xavier, and he is such a fantastic artist. He's drawn me so many things, which I'm gonna show you. Now, obviously this is just a concept. I would never get my own pack, let alone a Legends pack, but how awesome is this? So obviously I run the Maya skin a lot. And on the left, he's got my personalized Maya combo. I'll show you that later on in the video. Now in the middle, he's also got my Super Saiyan Drift and he's turned them into almost like a Maya collaboration. So this used to be my intro before I had a Super Saiyan banana. I had this image of Drift with Super Saiyan hair hand drawn by another artist in the community. His name is ADC Art Attack. It was amazing. But basically, it's the Drift character removing his mask with the Super Saiyan hairdo. I love it. Now on the right, there's basically a Drift version of Peely. So Xavier actually drew this himself. If you've been to my channel before, you know I do have that Super Saiyan banana in the intro and outro. And he basically merged it with my Super Saiyan Drift image, but he took away the Super Saiyan aspect. So it's basically Peely removing the Drift mask with the Drift outfit on. How awesome is that? So this is the Tabor Legends pack. And then in the background, I don't know if you guys noticed this, obviously it's all orange because that's my favorite color, but he's got an outline of the Black Knight shield and he turned it orange. I absolutely love this. Everything about this image is amazing. If I could create a Legends pack and pick any skins I wanted, this would definitely be it. I know you can't put a Maya in any Legends pack or locker bundle or anything like that. I've stared at this for like five minutes and I'm still in awe. I would print this and frame it on my wall if I had a streaming room. So let me show you another image that he did. I actually use this as my profile picture on Twitter. So again, this is made by Xavier and this time he actually incorporated the Super Saiyan banana with that Super Saiyan drift. So unlike in the Legends pack where he took the Super Saiyan hair away, he's got it added for this one. And then in the background, you've got the Black Knight shield. There's a little bit of orange flame on there. It says Tabor Hill. It's just amazing. One of the best artistic concepts of my logo I've ever seen in my life. The Super Saiyan hair is perfect. The Peely banana looks amazing. He's got the blue eye. He's got the drift mask. This is beyond exceptional work. Like I said, I actually use this on Twitter as my profile picture. So just the other day, he surprised me with a Lego version of my family. So as you should be aware, I do a lot of vlogs and most, if not all of my family are in those videos and I'm always holding the camera, so I'm never in it, but I've done face reveals before. So he turned us all into Legos. He put me in a banana suit. I don't really have a mustache, but that is absolutely awesome. I kind of look like Dr. Disrespect right there. I'm holding the Black Knight shield. We've got Jack in the little green Fortnite shirt. He's holding an entire pizza by himself. Are you kidding me? That is totally something Jack would do. Nolan's behind Jack. He's got his shaggy hair. He's got a hoodie on that's definitely Nolan. On the right is Ellie. And then on the left is my wife. I just thought this was an amazing artistic accomplishment right here. I was loving this. I showed it to my family and they loved it as well. And then he did one just of me holding the Black Knight shield in my Peely outfit. Super super awesome. So I think that's all he's drawn for me, but every piece of work he does, I'm just in awe by. So let me just show you my Maya combination here. This is one of my favorite combos. This is what he drew that Tabor Legends pack Maya from. So as you can see, my customized Maya always has the Black Knight shield. She's got some wickedly awesome tattoos on her arms. I wanted to make the scarf an orange color. And when I was designing the Maya, it almost looked blood orange but unfortunately in the game it's more of a blood red color so this is what i wanted it to look like and like i said when i was making it it did kind of look like this color orange but what i got instead was this nice red color and i'm not mad about it because it does match the black knight shield although it's a little different in color scheme but the black knight shield flows perfectly with that scarf now because it was more of a reddish color i did go with omega's pickaxe the onslaught now this is what i'm talking about though look at the color scheme on the right of this axe. It looks orange. And that's how Maya's scarf looked when I was making it. But in game, this is red as red can be. It's almost identical to the scarf color. But from this perspective, to me, that kind of looks orange. So I'm always getting thrown off by oranges and reds in this game. And then for my umbrella, I customized my own 
deep dark orange umbrella. So this is what I wanted her scarf to look like, exactly like this color. But what I got was the crimson red instead. Now I use Artifact as a contrail. And this was a PlayStation Celebration Pack exclusive. And I already showed you this, but my favorite wrap is Burning Glow. Now this is an item shop wrap, but it rarely comes out. I think it's been out once, maybe twice. I'm not sure. It's very rare. I'll tell you that much. So I just wanted to show you my combo because you may be asking, well, why did he put that Maya in the Tabor Legends pack? And this is why. He knew that I ran this all the time. And definitely this is my favorite skin in the game. 100% right here. So I just wanted to show off Xavier's awesome artistic capabilities because like I said, I am absolutely in awe with everything he draws me. And I wanted to give him a shout out. I'm gonna put his Twitter link in the description, in the pinned comment section. If you wanna follow him on Twitter, maybe he'll post more artwork. I don't know what else he does, but he does some fantastic work. And I didn't ask him to make any of these. He just makes them and sends them to me in my direct messages on Twitter. Now, I was gonna include a whole segment in this video about a locker bundle, but I'm gonna save that for another one. Basically, I'm trying to build the perfect community locker bundle. Now, no Epic Games has not approached me. They did not say, hey, let's create a locker bundle. None of that has happened just yet. But if and when I do get a locker bundle, I want it to be absolutely perfect. I want it to be something the community loves, not just something I personally love, although I do love a lot of skins in Fortnite, but I wanna kinda of give back to the community. You guys are what made me. And that's why I'm so interactive with my fan base. I respond to messages, I respond to tweets, I respond to everything. So I'm looking for some feedback, some input. We're gonna go over some classes on what I think you guys as a community would like for my locker bundle if I ever got one. But like I said, I'm gonna save that for another video because it's gonna be a long topic to discuss. We're gonna go over a lot of things. And I don't want this video to be too long. I wanted to showcase Xavier's artwork and we'll talk about my locker bundle if I ever get one in the future. So there you go. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this artwork by Mr. Xavier? And would you ever like to see a Tabor Legends pack? So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.